this is Olga, and she is a deluxe classic in the landscape orientation. And look at that beautiful stitching. It's wax linen thread that I've used to do that French link stitch. Olga is powerful. Look at those colors. And I love this as the cover because there's so much strength over here. And then this area is a softer and more subdued and kind of look at this as the two sides, the inner and the outer of, of a person, of a, of a being. And I just want to share with you the pages of Olga as you open up and see these ferns and that beautiful daisy opening up and there's rose leaves in here and rose petals and hydrangea leaves. Look at those hydrangea leaves. These are leather leaf ferns. I always see images. There's a face down there. There's a face right here. These pages are meant for you to write on and even paint on if you want to add your touch to the designs that I did. And I love the way that all the designs come together and show different different images, different imagery and oh, just, you know, I just bask in the loveliness. I absolutely love it. So in my journals, when I come to a page that is just full of imagery, I just kind of sit and ponder and sometimes I'll use a pencil to trace around all the images and sometimes I'll just leave it alone. Look at this. Lips here, a profile, eyes looking off that way. That's interesting. That doesn't happen a lot. Love that. But when I don't trace them out, I love that because a lot of times if I come to look at that same book a week later, a month later, I see different things in that imagery and I love the I love the openness that that offers when you just are in the moment and you see those images, but you don't necessarily have to draw those images out to find again. Each time you can search and you'll find things different things based on what you're thinking of now I don't know what I'm thinking of but I see this kind of little gopher there's the nose in here there's the little eyes and there's the big cheeks <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of a gopher I love you know the the hydrangea leaves and the daisies together are two of my favorites this one has baby's breath and pine needles and the daisy and the rose petals. Rose leaves. Let's open this happy page right in the middle. Oh, wow. Look at that. Who looks so exciting? I love that. Pine needles. That beautiful daisy up there. see a fox on this one. I can't pull them out because then you're going to see what I see. I want you to see what you see. And it's up to the keeper of this journal to do whatever they would like to write in it, to put pictures in it, to draw around it, to, to draw over different image, different things that they see in the plant elements. The keeper of this journal is going to know exactly what to do with this journal when they pick it. When they receive it, they want to add their touch to it, or if they want to keep it as an inspirational art book. It's just gorgeous. These colors are earthy, yet really, I don't know, just soft and yet strong. Is that something soft yet strong? I think that that kind of, I think that really actually tells me a lot about this Olga book. Look at those designs. Soft yet strong. It's a beautiful spread. So many places to write in, so many areas to put 
quotes or lyrics to enjoy this backdrop. There's a zinnia. There's another happy page. There it is. This is Olga, a deluxe classic, twice as many pages as my regular classic landscape orientation so it opens in a horizontal way and beautiful and that is Olga